make some noise for Chris Grieco, everyone. We call Gabe the Chupacabra of Chicago comedy because none of us have ever actually seen him kill. So, pretty interesting factoid there. Uh, Gabe told me that I look like a cop. Yeah, it makes sense you think I'm a cop. I'm the only one who books you, so. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Uh, speaking of convicted felons, Tito is here. Give it up for Tito. <laughs> Hell yeah, Tito. What can I say about Tito that hasn't already been submitted as evidence in a domestic violence case? <laughs> there. Tito buys a new pinky ring every time he sleeps with a cashier at Spencer's Gifts. Yeah, I like that about him. <laughs> Tito looks like the guy in the Cancun resorts that teach white people how to dance. <laughs> it's called Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what a creep. <laughs> Tito says that he dabbles in being gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By that measure, Jess dabbles in antipsychotics, oh. Ken dabbles in cocaine, <laughs> and Gabriel dabbles in being gay. <laughs> He's gay, that's a joke. <laughs> By the way, speaking of which, the name Gabriel actually means messenger of God. I guess the message God is sending is, why shower when you could just get another tattoo? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of permanent mistakes, Jessica Misitano was here. Give it up for her. <laughs> Jessica Misitano, the closest thing to a woman we could get on the show. Pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Jess was almost late getting here. She was actually uh, fighting a Puerto Rican woman over the last pair of leopard pants and a Ross dress for less. <laughs> Just kidding, that was Tito. <laughs> I saw him first, bitch. <laughs> Oh, my God. Fuck. Jess looks like she owns a biker bar that still has separate water fountains. <laughs> Once again, I'm kidding. She would never let a black person in her bar. Come on. Jess is pretty intense. I'm pretty sure the only way Jess can come is by beating her boyfriend with his own belt, I think. I liked that one. <laughs> it's easy to... Honestly, that's kind of... Cheap shots. It's easy to get up here and just talk shit about how many men Jess has slept with. That's easy. She's sitting next to Tito and Gabe, okay? Those dudes have shot more loads into guys than Chicago police in a black neighborhood. <laughs> Speaking of black neighborhoods, Jeff Brumfield doesn't live in one. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Jeff Brumfield, the closest thing to a black eye we could get on the show. Jeff delivers material like he's being forced to read out loud in class. <laughs> uh, I run a podcast with Jeff uh, called Your Feed Sucks. Your Feed Sucks. What Jeff says to girls when they don't po post pictures of their feet on Instagram. <laughs> he jerks off to feed. So, uh, Sorab's Faruzesh, the only Arab comic, was supposed to be on the show tonight, but, you know, he had to get on a plane and fly it into a building, so... <laughs> He couldn't be here. It's a damn shame. He has a great joke, too. He, my favorite joke of his, he says that uh, more than four Arabs in the same room, that's technically a hookah lounge. I like that. I say if there's more than four Arabs in the same room, you should probably open a window. <laughs> Everyone here acting like they haven't been in an Uber before. Okay, that's fine. Oh, fuck. No wonder they love incense so much. <laughs> Look at this dais, dude. It looks like Snow White trash and the seven dorks up here. What the fuck is going on? Can we get some cooler guys on the show, for God's sake? We have a black anime nerd, two gay Mexicans, and a bunch of L.A. creeps. The only OG here is Abby, and he looks like he's about to drop a mixtape on high blood pressure. Fucking old fucks. Abby, San Abby Sanchez is here. One more time for Abby. He's very funny, man. Classic guy. Classic Chicago comic. Abby has a rule where he doesn't trust fat vegetarians. I have a rule where I don't trust four-year-olds who dress like 20-year-olds. <laughs> Joey Villagomez, another guy that was supposed to be on panel here tonight, speaking of elder Mexicans. 
He was supposed to be here, but his daughter is in college, so you know he had to stay home and protect her from creepy old men who dress like Abby Sanchez. So before we get to Ken, Raul Reyes and Mark Hayes are here. Give it up for them coming in from LA. That's awesome. Raul looks like George Lopez, but if in the show Angie divorced him. <laughs> Mark Hayes, Mark Hayes is here. He looks like Tim Burton's cum. <laughs> oh, man. Mark actually looks like a lot of things, none of which is him asking for consent, by the way. Okay. Which brings us to the man of the hour, Ken Flores. Give it up for one more time for this motherfucker, man. Hell yeah. Ken Flores is here, taking up a hilarious amount of the stage. <laughs> you got the face of a Mongolian emperor. You look like Genghis condiments. <laughs> he just did the United Center. <laughs> Give it up for him. Yeah. Yep. United Center, what his doctor calls his chest and abdomen. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to roast Ken, because he's just, he's just like one of the biggest, bestest comics in the game right now. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. I'm sorry. Uh, he's one of the biggest, right, rested right. comics in the game right you now. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Ken's rise up has been meteoric. Um, it's also meteoric when he falls down, as any species near him will be destroyed. <laughs> you fucking meteor. <laughs> Ken's all over the internet now, but I remember Ken's first gig as a marble statue in a Buddhist temple. <laughs> all right, Ken's first viral clip was on World Star Hip Hop, uh, a site. Yeah, give it up for World Star. <laughs> oh, yeah, World Star, uh, a site which is usually meant for watching videos of black guys fighting each other. Take that, Jeff. Now you know what it's like for a Mexican to take your people's jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that one was funnier than you guys made, gave it credit for. That was pretty good. It was also pretty racist, so I get it. But in a cruel twist of fate, Ken's mom is a personal trainer. <laughs> I don't know the best way to phrase this, but like Ken's mom being a personal trainer is like the grizzled detective that can solve every crime in the city except his own daughter's murder. You know what I mean? <laughs> you see it? Do you get it? <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. I know we're all getting tired of fat jokes, and Ken's getting tired in general. So we can uh, we can move on. Ken's uh, one of my favorite jokes. Ken has is when he says that Italians are just gay Mexicans. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's just true. It's true. But it actually goes in a circle. Uh, Italians are gay Mexicans. Uh, Puerto Ricans are gay Dominicans. <laughs> Dominicans are gay Italians and Mexicans are gay criminals. So, <laughs> pussies. All right. <laughs> On the serious note, uh, Ken started at the same club I did stand up for the first time, the Comedy Shrine in the Fox Valley Mall in Aurora, Illinois. <laughs> I'm sure some of you, yeah. Now, this may come as a shock to some of you, but there are no talent scouts hanging around the Fox Valley Mall. <laughs> Um, and there's a lot of comics in the scene that think the reason they aren't where they are is due to some external excuse, like maybe if my parents had money or if I had an agent or if I had the right connections, then I'd be doing Ken Flores type things. But uh, Ken came out of absolutely nowhere with none of those things in the Fox Valley Mall in Aurora, Illinois. And in a, yep. And in a few years, he's become bigger than everybody, and I'm not talking about his weight. <laughs> He is bigger than everybody, um, and he just did it by being funny. And uh, when you care about funny enough and work really hard, then something really cool can happen. That being, it doesn't matter if there's a freezing snowstorm on a shitty Tuesday night, people will pack out a club in Rosemont to see you. <laughs> Ken, me and everyone in this scene love you and what you're doing, and everyone in this room loves you, man. Thank you for letting us do this tonight. Have a good night, man. Thank you, bro. One more time for the Hot Topic Manager. Make some noise for him, yeah. yeah, yeah.